Imagine the Milky Way galaxy teeming with life. Not just one or two alien planets, but thousands of unique civilizations, each making their home in their own little corner of the galaxy. But why haven't we seen a single sign from them yet? Well, our Milky Way galaxy is a huge place, filled with hundreds of billions of stars that have been shining for billions of years. Each of those stars has its own planets orbiting around it, just like our sun has Earth and the other planets in our solar system. So with all that space and time, it's easy to think, are we the only ones here? This puzzling question is known as the Fermi Paradox, and it's been driving scientists crazy for years. To understand this idea, first let's talk about our place in the universe. Our Milky Way galaxy is absolutely huge. A gigantic spiral of stars, gas, and dust stretching over 100,000 light years across. To put that in perspective, one light year is about 5.8 trillion miles. Within the vast expanse, our solar system is just a tiny speck. We orbit a single star, the Sun, along with our planetary neighbors. But there are billions of other stars in the Milky Way, and many of them have their own planets. So, with billions of planets out there, you'd think some of them would be similar to Earth, right? A place with the right temperature, maybe some water, the perfect spot for life to exist? Well, you're absolutely right. Scientists estimate there could be hundreds of millions, maybe even tens of billions of rocky planets in the so-called Goldilocks zone, the region around a star where the temperature is just right for liquid water. But not all of these planets are like our cozy Earth. Some are probably scorching hot, others are frozen solid, and some are just big, empty rocks. Even within our own solar system, we've got Mars, which is a cold, dusty place, and Venus, which is basically a runaway greenhouse with a toxic atmosphere. So, if habitable planets are so rare, does that mean we're alone in the universe? Not necessarily. But it does suggest that we might need to rethink our assumption about how alien civilizations might spread through the galaxy. Even if they're available and have advanced technology, traveling between stars would still be difficult and time-consuming. It would take ages, and there's no guarantee that the planet they reach would even be livable. So maybe they're not trying to take over the whole galaxy like we see in movies. Maybe they're more like the Polynesian explorers of the Pacific, hopping from one nice island to the next, setting up small communities along the way. This theory suggests that the Milky Way might be filled with tons of small, independent alien civilizations, each one with its own unique way of life and history. Since traveling through space is such a hassle, these civilizations would probably be pretty isolated from each other, like tiny islands in a giant cosmic sea. This could explain why we haven't met any aliens yet. Maybe we're just out in the boonies far away from any of the action. Or maybe the distances between these civilizations are just too huge to cross, making communication and travel nearly impossible. But this theory raises even more questions. If aliens are out there island hopping through the galaxy, what are they like? How do they live? And how might they interact with us even if we ever cross paths? Well, if aliens are out there island hopping through the galaxy, there's no way to know for sure what they might be like. We can only guess based on what we know about life on Earth and the conditions on other planets. Some scientists believe that life on other planets might be similar to life on Earth in some ways. After all, the basic building blocks of life, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, are abundant throughout the universe. So, it's possible that alien life forms might be based on similar chemistry. 
However, the environments on other planets are likely to be very different from Earth. This means that even if aliens share some similarities with us, they could also be strange and unfamiliar. They might have evolved under different gravity, breathe different atmospheres, or even have completely different senses than we do. As for how they live, that's even harder to say. Their societies could be based on cooperation, competition, or something entirely different. They might have technologies and social structures that we can't even begin to imagine. But what about their interactions with us? Well, that's where things get really interesting. Some scientists believe that contact with an advanced alien civilization could be beneficial for humanity. They might share knowledge and technology with us, helping us solve problems like disease, poverty, and climate change. But others warn that contact could be dangerous. An advanced civilization might see us as a threat or a resource to be exploited. They might have technologies that could easily wipe us out, or they might accidentally introduce diseases that we have no immunity to. All right, let's circle back to that big question that's been bugging scientists for years, the Fermi paradox. It's named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked, where is everybody? Well, the answer is that there should be plenty of advanced civilizations out there, some of them much older and more technologically advanced than us. And the island hopping theory we discussed earlier offers one possible solution to this paradox. It suggests that even if alien civilizations exist, they might be so spread out and isolated that contact is simply too difficult, even with advanced technology. But there are other theories as well. Some scientists think that maybe we're just not looking for the right signs. Maybe aliens are trying to reach out, but we just haven't figured out how to hear them. Or maybe they're hiding on purpose for reasons we can't understand. Others suggest that intelligent life might be incredibly rare. They say maybe we're one of the lucky few who've managed to create advanced technology. Or maybe there's something out there, a great filter that stops most civilizations from getting too smart. Maybe it's because they ruin their own planet, or maybe they create something so dangerous that it wipes them out. But the Fermi paradox remains one of the biggest mysteries in science, and it's a question that continues to inspire scientists and thinkers around the world to search for answers. Most importantly, it gives us hope that we might not be alone in the universe. Even if it's tough to talk to these aliens, or even impossible, the idea that they're out there living their own lives in faraway planets is pretty amazing. So there you've got it. Looking for aliens is one of the most exciting and important things we're doing right now. And who knows, maybe one day we'll finally get a call from our cosmic neighbors or stumble upon their hidden corner of the galaxy. Until then, we'll keep searching the skies, hoping to answer one of the biggest questions of all time. Are we alone? So the next time you look up at the stars, remember that the Milky Way might be filled with hidden empires, each with its own story to tell.